What would you do if I told you that right now, while you're watching this video, a seven mile wide object from another star system is racing through our solar system, carrying the building blocks of life, and in just a few months, Earth is going to fly directly through the trail it left behind? NASA says the comet is now closing in for its closest pass by our planet. And the world's telescopes are of course chasing it frame by frame before it vanishes forever. You'd probably want to know what that means for us, right? Well, here's the thing. Scientists just discovered that 3i Atlas isn't behaving like any comet we've ever seen. Its chemistry is so bizarre, it's statistically impossible. Its trajectory defies explanation. And Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb is asking whether something might have deliberately sent it here. By the end of this video, you'll understand why this interstellar visitor could be the most significant scientific discovery of your lifetime and what happens when we pass through its debris field in 2026. Let me show you why these matters. When 3i Atlas was first detected on July 1, 2025, astronomers assumed they were looking at another routine interstellar comet. We'd seen two before Oumuamua in 2017 and Borisov in 2019. Standard protocol, observe, catalog, move on. But within weeks, something became clear. This object wasn't following the playbook. The Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array in Chile, one of the most powerful radio telescope networks on Earth, pointed its instruments at 3I Atlas and detected massive concentrations of methanol and hydrogen cyanide. Now, before you think poison, understand what these molecules actually do. Methanol is a building block for amino acids and sugars, including ribose, which is a fundamental component of RNA and DNA. Hydrogen cyanide, despite being toxic in high doses, is essential for creating complex organic molecules. It's literally a precursor to adenine, one of the four nucleotide bases in your DNA right now. But the concentrations detected on 3i Atlas are completely off the charts. The ratio of carbon dioxide to water is roughly 8 to 1. In every comet from our solar system, that ratio averages much lower. This 8 to 1 ratio represents a 4.5 sigma deviation in statistical terms. That means there's less than a 0.0003% chance this is normal variation. Something about 3i Atlas's chemistry is fundamentally different from anything formed in our solar system. Scientists believe this object formed outside our sun's protoplanetary disk, possibly 3 to 11 billion years ago in another star system entirely. Based on the Gaia star catalog, which maps the positions and movements of over a billion stars, astronomers traced 3i Atlas's trajectory backward through space. The conclusion, this object hasn't passed within close range of any star for at least 10 million years. It's been drifting through the freezing void of interstellar space, accumulating material and being bombarded by cosmic radiation for eons. Then something extraordinary happened. On September 7, 2025, when 3i Atlas was approximately 233 million miles from the Sun, that's 2.5 astronomical units, it suddenly exploded in brightness. We're talking about a two-magnitude jump in apparent brightness. To put that in perspective, that's roughly six times brighter than it was just days before. This wasn't a gradual warming. This was an eruption. Scientists call this cryovolcanism, volcanic-style eruptions of ice and frozen volatiles. But here's what makes this unprecedented. The eruption appeared to happen across the entire surface simultaneously. Normal comets have localized outbursts from specific vents or cracks. 3i Atlas lit up like someone threw a switch across its entire 7-mile diameter. The object has a rotation period of about 16 hours. That's relatively fast, which means solar heating is distributed fairly evenly across its surface as it spins. This supports the theory that the entire crust built up over millions of years in interstellar space volatilized all at once when it received enough solar energy. After this initial eruption, 3i Atlas continued brightening as it approached perihelion its closest point to the Sun, which occurred on October 29, 2025. At perihelion, it was 126 million miles from the Sun, receiving about 735 watts per square meter of solar radiation. Compare that to deep interstellar space, where it was receiving roughly 0.0000001 watts per square meter. That's a difference of about 7 billion times more energy. And that's when the jets appeared. 
Amateur astronomers around the world, using telescopes in their backyards, started capturing images of massive jets erupting from 3I Atlas. These weren't small plumes. Some extended over 31,000 miles into space. That's more than 10 times Earth's diameter. Multiple jets were visible, creating a complex structure around the nucleus. But one jet defied physics as we understand it. There's a prominent jet pointing directly toward the sun. This is the sunward-facing tail that's been documented in multiple observations, including images from the Hubble Space Telescope taken on November 30th, 2025. Solar radiation pressure should push material away from the sun. That's why comet tails always point away from the star. It's basic physics. Yet 3I Atlas has a substantial jet pointing in the opposite direction. And here's what's really strange. As 3I Atlas moves away from the sun and the rest of the comet dims, this sunward-facing jet is getting bigger and brighter. As of early December 2025, it's the most prominent feature of the entire object. Avi Loeb has pointed out additional statistical anomalies in the trajectory. The orbital path of 3I Atlas is aligned with Earth's orbit around the sun in a way that has less than a 0.2% probability of occurring by chance. That's 1 in 500. The object will also pass remarkably close to several inner planets. It flew past Mars on October 3rd at a distance of just 18 million miles. The probability of an interstellar object passing that close to multiple planets is less than 1 in 20,000. Loeb asks, could this be a designed trajectory? Could something has aimed this object at our solar system? Now let's be clear about what the evidence actually supports. The most likely explanation is that 3I Atlas is a type of space rock called a CR carbonaceous chondrite. These are extremely rare meteorites that scientists believe formed outside the main protoplanetary disk of our solar system. There are pristine samples of early solar system material, rich in organic compounds and water ice. We have direct evidence of what these objects can carry. NASA's OSIRIS-REx mission recently returned samples from asteroid Bennu, a B-type asteroid from our own solar system. Analysis revealed all 20 amino acids essential for life on Earth. Scientists found nucleotides the building blocks of DNA and RNA. They found glucose, which is critical for cellular metabolism. They even found liquid water trapped in microscopic pockets within the rock. Bennu is a relatively processed asteroid that's been orbiting our sun for billions of years, constantly baked by solar radiation. 3I Atlas is far more pristine. It's been traveling through the interstellar medium, accumulating organic molecules from supernova remnants, stellar winds, and molecular clouds. The concentration of life-building compounds on this object could be orders of magnitude higher than anything in our solar system. And there's another factor, magnetite production. When water ice containing iron undergoes the kind of heating 3I Atlas experienced, a chemical reaction occurs. The water molecules break apart and oxygen combines with iron to form magnetite Fe3O4. This is the most magnetic naturally occurring mineral on Earth. It's what gives lodestones their magnetic properties. 3I Atlas erupted, it was producing magnetite across its surface. This creates an intrinsic magnetic field around the object separate from the induced magnetic field created by its ionized gas cloud. Measurements from the Rosetta mission to Comet 67P showed that cometary magnetic fields can reach 30 to 50 nanotesla under normal conditions, and up to 300 nanotesla when hit by solar storms. Why does this matter? Because magnetic fields protect against cosmic radiation. Cosmic rays cause DNA strand breaks and mutations. Life as we know it requires some level of protection from this radiation. 3I Atlas is essentially creating its own protective magnetic bubble as it travels through space, shielding its cargo of organic molecules. This is what scientists call the interstellar panspermia hypothesis, the idea that life's building blocks, or even life itself, can spread between star systems on objects like 3I Atlas. On December 19, 2025, 3I Atlas will make its closest approach to Earth at a distance of about 106 million miles. That's too far to see with the naked eye, but telescopes worldwide will be observing. The James Webb Space Telescope and the Vera C. Rubin Observatory will be analyzing its composition in unprecedented detail. Then comes the critical period. In March and April 2026, 
Earth will pass through the orbital zone where 3 I Atlas was during its perihelion. Remember those jets extending 31,000 miles into space? All that material dust, ice, organic molecules is still out there, spread along the comet's orbital path. Earth will fly directly through this debris stream. Will we notice? Possibly, there could be an uptick in meteor activity. Scientists will be monitoring atmospheric chemistry for unusual organic signatures. But the real question is deeper. How many times has this already happened? How many interstellar visitors have seeded Earth with organic compounds over the past 4.5 billion years? The asteroid that killed the dinosaurs 66 million years ago was about 6 miles wide, roughly the same size as 3I Atlas. But that was a high-speed impact. 3I Atlas is passing through peacefully, leaving a trail of chemistry in its wake. After its Earth flyby, 3I Atlas will continue outward. On March 16, 2026, it will pass Jupiter at a distance of 33 million miles. If NASA approves a trajectory adjustment, the Juno spacecraft could potentially sample the comet's dust stream, our only chance for an up-close look at material from another star system. Then 3I Atlas will leave our solar system forever, heading back into interstellar space at over 150,000 miles per hour. We'll never see it again, but the implications of what we've learned will reshape our understanding of how life spreads through the cosmos. Because if 3I Atlas is carrying the building blocks of life, and if there are millions of similar objects traveling between star systems right now, then the universe isn't a collection of isolated islands. It's a connected network, constantly exchanging the ingredients for biology across unimaginable distances. The question isn't whether 3I Atlas is dangerous. The question is, are we looking at evidence that life itself is an inevitable consequence of cosmic chemistry spreading through the galaxy one interstellar visitor at a time. If you found this fascinating, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications we're tracking. 3i Atlas through its Earth flyby in just two weeks, and I'll be breaking down the latest data as it comes in. Drop a comment below with your thoughts on interstellar panspermia and share this video with anyone who's ever wondered if we're alone in the universe. The answer might be traveling through our solar system right now.